Yep. Uh, Kelly says, Mike called it. He said if Debo wasn't careful, fans would turn on him. With that said, those idiots sending him death threats, racial slurs are not fans, do not represent the faithful. Exactly. Um, right. So let me ask you this, because we talked about this last week, Matt and I. Um, he has, I don't want to say refused, but he's obviously not with Trey Lance and Brandon Ayuk getting this valuable work in. Does this bother you at all? It does. And Wayne and I got into this on our last show. Um, what, it, it didn't bother me until I heard the Matt Mayoko interview with him. And Matt Mayoko says, oh, the guys are going to be out in Southern California working out. Are you going? And he was like, man, I ain't going to Cali. Yeah. That's how he said it. And they were like, what? He was like, yeah, if they, I, I work out in Miami. So my thing was, and Breezy tried to use the example of Devontae Adams and, and uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't work out together in the offseason. I said, yeah, but they have five years of chemistry together. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is a new quarterback coming in here. The report that I saw said that there were six wide receivers out there with yep. Trey Lance and Nate Sudfeld. It's not just so this is something that the team is trying to put together. Not a mandate. Obviously, it's not a mandate, right? They can't mandate anything, right. but the team can urge, they can suggest certain things happen. The team wanted these guys to get together and work with the wide receivers. I didn't hear anything about tight ends. I didn't see, say, all pass catchers. There were no running backs there. There were six wide receivers there. Wayne and I looked it up. The, the team signed two wide receivers, and that made a total of nine wide receivers on the roster. We signed two, and Debo wasn't there. Well, what's the rest of, that's there? Six. All other wide receivers were there. You don't want to build a chemistry with the guy that's going to be the quarterback of the team? It just doesn't make any sense to me, especially because I think the dynamic of Debo's game is going to have to change when Trey Lance gets here. Jimmy's weakness, throwing outside the numbers and hesitant to throw the ball downfield. Yep. Debo's weakness, he leads the team and drops every single season. No one talks about that. I, I'm not here to play anti-Debo because that's not my thing. But Kyle saw one weakness and he saw the other weakness and he said, how can I keep these two guys on the field at the same time? Get them the ball closer to the line of scrimmage. Passes of two yards or, or shorter. Put him in the back as a running back. Put him in the backfield as a running back. Kyle went out of his way to form this offense around him and Jimmy. Jimmy's not here anymore. You got a guy who wants to throw the ball downfield. You got to go out there and get that rapport. And you got all training camp, right? So, I under, like I said, I understand he doesn't have to be there. It was the way he said, man, I ain't going out there to California. And Matt was, like, appalled. Like, not even appalled. He was, like, shocked by the reaction. It's the way he said it. And he's like, wait, what? What do you mean? I, can I play that audio? Yeah, yeah. If you have it. Oh, hell yeah, I have that audio. I, I was trying to find it on my show when we were doing it live. And it's so crazy because the very next time that I hit play was where it was. And I didn't, I didn't uh, have it in time. <laughs> Just want to take a quick second to shout out today's sponsor, Acre Gold. Matt calls it our gold stamp. Just because it's two and a half grams, I know you probably think of gold bars and you think they might be a little bigger, but this is two and a half grams. I actually just got these two today in the mail. Um, my subscription is actually going up. Here's my first two and a half gram gold bar. So I now have three two and a half gram gold bars, seven and a half grams of gold here, guys. Look, the days of forking over hundreds of dollars to buy gold at once are over. You can now invest as little as $50 a month to buy gold. And once you reach the market price of two and a half grams of gold, Acre Gold will discreetly send you a two and a half gram gold bar in the mail. And that builds up quickly. Trust me, guys. You could set it to 50, you could set it to 100, whatever you want to pay for as little as $50 a month, though. You could start buying gold today. Click the link in the description and buy some gold. Get it started right now. Thank you, Acre Gold, for sponsoring this video. All right, I don't have the exact spot, so I don't want to. You unfollow people on social. I mean, Debo Samuel said on uh, this podcast, Super Bowl week from LA, uh, that he wasn't going to be working out in California. In fact, let's listen to what he had to say. It sounded a little bit suspicious. Uh, he said, I'm trying to get him to come down to Miami as well. Uh, is he telling you, no, you come where I am? Uh, uh, he's he's just back and forth right now, but I ain't training in no California. Uh, what is that? Uh, this is not what I'll train in. So, yeah, he's trying to get me to come out there where he is, and I'm trying to get him to come out to Miami. Cool. They're communicating. Debo, you're a wide receiver. You don't dictate where everybody goes. I'm not saying Trey Lance can't go out there and work out with you. That would be great if they did that, right? But if 
seven, eight people are already here. You want them to all say, oh, never mind, Debo's here. We're going to go there. That's not how the NFL works. Never in the history of any franchise has a team been based around one wide receiver. Yeah. It, it is reality. weird. It, it reminds me of, and I really do, I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but I think it was Trent Williams and Debo last offseason. Trent Williams is getting a haircut, Instagram Live. He connects with Debo and they're talking. And he goes, hey, man, where you at? And he, goes, he says where he is. And he goes, oh, you coming back to Cali? And Debo goes, man, fuck Cali. I'm not going there anytime soon. And I Trent was like, yo, like the fans love you. Don't say that. What are you talking about? He goes, oh, no, it's nothing to do with the fans. Just I, I don't want to be in Cali if I don't have to. Debo said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking to Trent? He was talking to Trent Williams, yeah. I remember it was right after Trent got his, his contract extension. Right. And they were FaceTime or uh, Instagram live together. And I remember I was like, there and may be he- something here. Maybe he has friends and family. No, I, I think maybe he has friends and family out there and he wants to spend the off season there. These guys put in a lot of time. Right. And when you get a vacation, you don't want to be working on vacation. So I, listen, I'm completely, I, I side with that. As a working person, I get that. I understand that. And I side with that mentality. But it's the way he's going about saying stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, listen, if you and I are arguing back and forth, say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't cut me off. Let me finish my thought. That's one way to ask. The other way, hey, shut the fuck up. Let me finish talking. Right, right. Two same exact message, two different deliveries, two different reactions. People are gonna hear that and feel a way about the way you do it. And so he's got to keep that in mind, man. Like that's that's all I'm saying. 